Hello everyone, <clears throat> we're back. It's Chuck Thunder. We are finally caught up with plowing this field. That we said that we were going to do that. It took a long while. We also harvested this cornfield, as well as also plowed it as well. You might be wondering um, if we're going to sell the stuff, and we will eventually. We really want to get another tractor at some point so that we could do some other work but um we did go and uh cons well, do we buy it no i don't think we did no we didn't um but we do have what we need to begin planting we won't be able to plant until um february for wheat or barley again or sunflowers in march so we're gonna fast forward a bit i think also if you're wondering why my money situation didn't change just because i changed my course play um uh, ownership uh, thing here so it says zero percent so it doesn't cost me anything I noticed that was happening when I started doing this um, I'm for all for uh, trying to be realistic here but let's just imagine that I did it all manually we're a single man farm we just don't have the time to sit here and plow for that tiny little thing like this is life we're talking about here so we're okay we're using course play to do these things for free so occasionally we'll use a regular um, hired man and we'll hit h you know on the keyboard to make it happen but that's that'll be for the few times that we do it um so right now we should have yep ten thousand seven hundred and twenty three sorghum and five thousand three hundred twenty one corn um and it'll be peak season for those uh sales in where's sorghum in january here it is we are at some amount now so we're going to get to January for sorghum, and we're going to also get to January for uh, corn, because that's the peak periods for those. So that's what we will do. Um, we will, we've got nothing else really planned to go this time of year. We do want to maybe consider getting these trees. I'm not a huge fan of these trees. Um, this is what's for sale. we got a couple mowers that we won't be able to use, a baler we won't be able to use. A fertilizer and lime spreader which we don't need right now it's expensive so we don't have anything we really want so we're gonna we're gonna fast forward uh we'll pick up any deals that make any sense to us between now and january but we'll check in with you when that happens because um we just don't need to update you on something that isn't changing so we're gonna go to sleep and we'll sleep through, through to january take it easy all right, we're back. It is January, and we have about 5,000 liters of corn to sell, um, and a good 10,000 liters of sorghum to sell. So we have our first 4,000 of corn right now. We're taking a grain mill plus to sell for around 480 dollars per thousand. So you know we got 4,000 here, so we should get around 1,600 bucks um, here. It's not going to be a lot of money, but we'll take it. Um, and then the corn has another thousand or so left so we'll probably get another it's so probably get like two thousand dollars of the corn that we took off the field um then we have about ten thousand of the other stuff uh where are thou ten thousand of sorghum at around five hundred and forty dollars so we're looking at another five thousand there so we're looking at a total of seven or eight thousand bucks which isn't amazing but it it helps and it was free because we didn't have to plant it so we may look into harvesting as contracts i told you i said i wouldn't consider doing that too much but we have cultivating contracts we may do um we could rank it by net profit and this one would do the best for us. So we might we might do some contracts. We got time. We'll get this sold off. And if we do some contracts today, you know, we get a little extra cash to help us get to a tractor. That would be ideal. Uh, I don't check to see if anything was on sale today. No, no tractors. So, nothing in particular that we want or need. If we can get a contract in today, that would be nice. Uh, 
that we're gonna speed back time up again we did only kept it we only kept it the way it was for a minute because it was taking us forever to do what we needed to do the plowing just didn't want the day to run out while plowing so I, just, I, I slowed it down a bit and there's our seed pile too maybe after we finish our last load of um, Oh, we don't have a way to adjust this. Yeah, we're kind of screwed. Alright, that's fine. We'll make do. Let's get this sold. I'm just run 2,000 bucks. All right, well, we'll check in with you guys when we've sold off all the corn and all the sorghum since it's the peak season. And then we'll uh, check in when we're about ready to start the next contract. Take it easy. We're going now to go pick up our newly purchased fertilizer spreader and maybe fill it up with some fertilizer. We're prepping ourselves for a planting season uh, after selling off all of our material here. Um, we really just need to get to the next stage once we get to uh, January, February, March. March, we said when was that we were going to be able to plant again? I think it was March. March, March. Yeah, so March. We're going to be able to... Um, wow, we just lost all of our power. Uh, we're going to uh, do that in March, so we're really just going to go prep everything else we need here to get ourselves situated for planting. We have a planter, then we need to fertilize it, and then ideally I'd like to get a sprayer um, to spray the weeds down and a lime spreader. So we gotta get a lot of different things going on on our fields right now. Do we need to do any of that? Um, that's the good question. Luckily, this is the only field that needs lime and we aren't quite there yet. To do that, we we may go without lime on that field for now until we have to do liming on all the fields. We're not going to lose that much harvest off of that field for that. So we're not going to bother liming, but we do need to get some fertilizer down and some way to treat weeds. Um, we can get a weeder to do some partial weed treatment, which I'm not a huge fan of. I'd rather just get a sprayer, which I've found some relatively inexpensive sprayers for us. Um, to put in um, uh, and put in the work for us here. So first off, we're gonna get ourselves some fertilizer into this container. Now we have our seed bag still sitting here. I really need to come back and pick that up. So there we go, we got that. We are also going to buy, uh, where do we buy? We can buy individual bags of fertilizer. We don't need to buy a massive amount. Um, I think we need to buy around 300's worth, so that's 100. Let's just go with this, see how far we get. I won't go buy one more. <laughs> I'll just drive past them all, I guess, until we're full. Mostly there. Two more, I guess. Maybe, maybe one more. Yeah, that's all we needed. And we didn't even use the whole bag. Alright, so we can get that down over there. We now will get this brought over. We can fast forward. We will go ourselves, get ourselves to March, start planting um, with our planter. We won't need to spray this particular season, but we will spray if needed. Some of these fields have been plowed. So what I've learned, and I think this is the case, if it's a recently plowed field, you won't need to spray it for weeds. 
I could be wrong. That's how it worked on my No Man's Land series. I used to plow my field every season, and when I plowed my field every season, then my sower, which was a direct drill seeder, would seed on top of that. And I would not get any weeds any season, so I wouldn't need to spray. Now, I don't know if that's how this game works. This, this particular playthrough will work, um, but I'm pretty sure one of my fields right now has been more recently plowed, so we'll see how that one turns out from one season to the next. We won't necessarily know until uh, we advance a stage and see if a weed starts to germinate on some of the fields. Um, I know that weeds have already started to germinate from one season to the next on the fields that I have cultivated with that really small cultivator. Um, so I do know that weeds will germinate um, in areas that have been left unattended, but I, right now they haven't been like real little weeds. So we'll, we'll see where that turns out for us in the long run. So as of right now, um, let us get over there and we'll fast forward time. Uh, we'll wake up and we'll start sowing with our planter and we'll check in with you guys when that's happening. And maybe we'll do um, a small little time lapse and that's where we'll end the video. Well, let's get back to our shop first. Drop off this fertilizer full, a spreader full of fertilizer. I've been half tempted to sell my um, harvester and get something cheaper, but there really isn't a cheaper option. The, the one cheaper option that I saw out there supposedly harvests is corn, but the header is not right, and I just think it's going to look weird when I do it. So um, we're just going to keep with the harvester that we do have, and we're going to get some corn down there. See, there's a little bit of uh, weeds out in that field to the right over there. All right, so let's go drop this fertilizer off. Put it right in here, just on an angle, until we're ready for it. We'll go hook up our tractor back to our planter, and we will start a little time lapse for the planting season. In a moment here, because it's, it's going to take a while to, to plant these fields, I think I have a feeling. Because, you know, obviously we have a tiny little plow. I don't know if I want to bother with a course play f for this, just because it's such a small, a small field to do this with. All right, well, let's get ourselves the rest here, and we'll wake up in uh, March. See you later.